Hi and welcome, my name is Lon. This video is a basic guide to installing a free version of Visual Studio 2019, which is the Community Edition. Visual Studio is an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. I'm running the Windows 10 operating system on my target computer, but as well as Windows, you are also able to install Visual Studio on a Mac or a Linux platform. The .NET Core cross-platform .NET Runtime enables you to create .NET applications on not only Windows platforms, but also Mac OS and Linux platforms. Note that if you have Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition already installed, you are able to keep this version of Visual Studio after you have installed Visual Studio 2019. These two versions of Visual Studio can be run side by side. 16 tutorials or 16 parts of a C Sharp for Beginners course have been released on this channel. From the release of the 17th part of this course which will focus on C Sharp classes, Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition for Windows will be used for code demonstration purposes. So the first step in this installation process is to ensure that we have all the necessary prerequisites. So I'm going to navigate through my browser to the URL currently displayed on your screen in order to assess whether I have the necessary prerequisites to install Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. And you'll see on this web page a section with the heading Visual Studio 2019 System Requirements. The information under this heading contains detailed information of the system requirements necessary to install Visual Studio 2019. The URL for this web page is available below in the description, so please pause the video before continuing with the installation process in order to ensure that you have the necessary prerequisites on your target computer before installing Visual Studio 2019. Great, so we are now satisfied that we have the necessary system requirements so we'll proceed with the installation process. On the same web page containing the system requirements, you'll see a section with the heading Download. Within this section, you'll see three blue buttons labeled Download Community 2019, Download Professional 2019, and Download Enterprise 2019. So we want the free edition of Visual Studio 2019, which is the Community Edition. So let's click on the button labeled Download Community 2019. A new web page is loaded. And a pop-up window is presented. In order to focus on the installation process, I'm going to close this pop-up window and continue with the installation procedure. Now at the bottom of the screen you'll see a small elongated window basically asking us how we wish to install Visual Studio. We have the choice of downloading the Visual Studio installer executable to a local drive by clicking the save button which means we can navigate to where we have saved the installation executable and run the installation process later or we are able to run the installation process immediately by clicking the run button. So for this demonstration, I will run the installation process immediately by pressing the button labeled Run. For security reasons, Windows then prompts us to confirm that we wish to allow the app to make changes to our device. You can see in this dialog box that the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation. So to continue with the installation process, we can click the button labeled Yes. So now the Visual Studio installer is giving us status information in a small pop-up window in the center of our screens. So in the interests of time, I will be fast-forwarding through the time-consuming parts of the installation process. You are obviously able to pause and continue with the video whenever deemed necessary at your convenience. So we are now presented with a fairly large window, which has a heading in the top left corner of the window, install dash Visual Studio Community 2019 dash 16.1.5. Here we are able to customize our installation of Visual Studio Community 2019. 
This window allows us to select the workloads we wish to include with our installation of Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. So what is a workload? A workload is a bundle of tools within Visual Studio that helps you be productive with certain languages or platforms. So for example, in order to follow the code examples in the c -sharp for Beginners course provided by this channel, you only need the workload labeled .NET Core Cross-Platform Development. This workload includes an installation of the .NET Core runtime, which by default is version 2.1 as well as the .NET Core console application project template, which is used throughout the c -sharp for Beginners course. This workload also includes a lot more, but this is beyond the focus of this video. So of course you have the option to install many other workloads that provide tools for developing, for example, cloud-based solutions, desktop applications, mobile applications, or you can even download the workload labeled Game Development with Unity and create 2D and 3D games. And there are of course many other workloads that you can choose to install when you first install Visual Studio 2019 or later once Visual Studio 2019 has already been installed. For my installation, I'm only going to install the .NET Core cross-platform development workload. I can do this by clicking the checkbox in the top right corner of the relevant workload box. Right, so once you have selected one or more workloads, we can now click the Install button to continue with the installation process. This process may take some time. While the installation is underway, let's briefly look at the licensing terms associated with the utilization of Visual Studio Community Edition for Windows. I'm going to navigate to the URL displayed on your screen. A link to this location is available below in the description. If you click on one of the list items, you can review the licensing terms for the relevant product. So I'm going to click on the link relevant to Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. I'm going to navigate to another Microsoft web page. The URL is displayed on your screen. This link is also available below in the description. And at the bottom of the page is a summary regarding the usage of Visual Studio Community Edition. I'll quickly read this. Usage for individuals. Any individual developer can use Visual Studio Community to create their own free or paid apps. For organizations, an unlimited number of users within an organization can use Visual Studio Community for the following scenarios. In a classroom learning environment, for academic research, or for contributing to open source projects. For all other usage scenarios, in non-enterprise organizations, up to five users can use Visual Studio Community. In enterprise organizations, meaning those with greater than 250 PCs or greater than 1 million US dollars in annual revenue, no use is permitted beyond the open source academic research and classroom learning environment scenarios described above. Right, so let's check on the progress of our installation of Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. You can of course pause the video at this point in order to wait for your installation process to catch up because I'm going to fast forward this process so that we can discuss the next phase of the installation process. So note the checkbox labeled start after installation which is located just below the installation progress display in the bottom left corner of the Visual Studio installer dialog box. As you can see in the installation progress display, the installation is finishing up. OK, and there we have it. The splash screen for Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. Great. So a pop-up window prompting us to sign in is now displayed. Click the sign in button if you already have the relevant account to do so. If you don't already have an account, click the link labeled Create One. It's an easy process. You only need to provide a valid email address and a password. Note that after Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition has been installed, you may at times be prompted to refresh your Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition license. And you'll need to unlock the Visual Studio IDE by providing this account information. So once you have an account, 
click the sign in button to sign in. So a window with the heading Visual Studio 2019 is presented to us. To test my installation of Visual Studio, I'm going to create a new project by clicking Create New Project. I'm going to select the .NET Core Console project template and the function of this application will be to simply write the text First Visual Studio application to the console screen. Let's run this code. Great, everything seems to be working correctly. So I want to demonstrate that you are able to further customize your installation of Visual Studio by downloading additional workloads from within Visual Studio. You can do this by navigating to the file menu, then click on the new projects menu item. You will then be presented with the create new project window. You can then scroll down to the bottom of the list of the available project templates. And you will see a link containing the text install more tools and features. If we click this link, a window containing a selection of workloads is displayed and we are able to install whichever additional workloads we may require. I hope this video has been of value to you. Please like and subscribe and please hit the bell icon to be notified of future content. Thank you and take care.